so welcome back in today's video today we are going to move this broken bolt from this is a engine a motorcycle engine so for the first moment we are going to drill in using a five millimeter drilling bits you wanna get a do yes so this is a five we are going to drill in using a five millimeter drilling bit because we are dealing with a bolt of six millimeters so we have to remove the dust So even you should see whether you're in a straight line. So these are some of the parts, many parts of the bolt. So let's sharpen this five millimeter. So we are going just to remove the threads because this is aluminium yet the bolt is of uh, steel so they have tried to weld so what means that uh, this aluminium uh, it melts fast so the bolt and the threads now they will get out both of them because aluminium melts and it enters into the threads of the steel bolt so we have just removed to drill the, the bolt and also the threads and we put an erium coil So since we are dealing with a bolt of six millimeters, so let's also drill with six millimeters, remove even the, the remaining stunted threads. So you repeat the process slowly until you finish to drill through the bolt. So you should be careful when the drill is soon, the trapping bit is soon to pass through. Because in most cases, it, it, the drill pushes you in. So you should be careful, you may break the drilling bit. So. We have passed through the, the, the bolt. Let's also remove the remaining bolt and start the thread. So you are advised to use a tapping of uh, 6.5 because it's what is recommended on the tapping bit. So there is something remaining inside the ending of a bolt. So this was the remaining part, particle, inside, so. So as you are seeing, we have removed, uh, now it is uh, the bolt, we have no threads inside, as you are seeing, it's just a hole. So we have finished drilling with uh, 6.5 millimeters. So let's go first. Uh, let's let's try to cut inside. Threads of uh, 8.5, cause even we are going to use our rim coil of 8. Our rim oil coil of 8.25. So let's tap inside. 
So always put in mind to be in a straight line. A second thing you should not forget is when you are cutting the threads of the area coil, you leave a space to act as a stopper. So this is going to act as our area coil. It is a car tire valve so it is of 8 millimeters we are going to use this die of 8.5 8.125 to cut on top here the threads the outer threads so now let's tie our EVM coil so this is the top of 8.25 Make the outer threads on our area coil. So this is our area coil. As you are saying, so you are going to remove this sharp pointing part using this grinder. And we flatten this helium coil so after that we are going to tie it inside here so with the help of a spa glue so let's do like this so we, are, we have to put the spa glue on either side so So you have to be a bit fast when tying because the spa glue may dry up quickly when you haven't yet finished. So you have to remove this excessive part. We have finished to tight our area coil is of 8 millimeters so we are going to drill inside with uh, 5 meters because we are recommended to use to drill uh, we are recommended to drill so drill 5 so we are recommended to drill like 5 5.0 maybe yeah, it's 5.0 because this is a tap as you are saying so 5.0 drilling bit drill 5.0 because we are going to cut six times 1.0 inside so let's drill in with a 5.0 millimeter drilling bit So you are saying the helium coil is a bit out. So you are saying we have re drilled in, there are no threads inside. And the second thing, the helium coil is a bit out, as you are saying, because this part was welded and this is aluminium. So the welding stick and the welding took up this part and this part got melted. So you have nothing to drill with this one. So you have to leave it as it is. Let's tap in with a 6.0. 6 times 1.0 inside because the size of the threads of the original bolt. So we are going to use this as a T handle. As you are seeing, this is a T handle. So we are going to tap using a T handle. So it should be in a straight line. Even if whatever you are doing with the bent, you should be in a straight line. Yeah. 
So when you are trying to cut using the first tap, if it reaches a certain point and gets stuck, don't force because you may break. You just remove it and put the second one and use the second tap. So. So don't forget, as you are seeing now, we have cut the threads inside. Now, those are the threads of our iridium coil. Inside the iridium coil we have cut. So let's use some oil and then after we test. So, this is the oil. Raise put it in mind to use the oil so now it's even finishing up the idiom coil now the work is done let's try it and test what we have done So this is the bolt, the original bolt. So let's test and we see. So now the threads are fine. So as I was saying, so now the work is done. So before we go we leave, let me try to explain. Inside here there was a broken bolt. So we tried to remove the broken bolt using a drill. So we removed the broken bolt because this is aluminium, the bolt is of steel. So what we did, we just drilled through with a, a 6.5 millimeter drilling bit. After drilling 6.5, we uh, we tapped in with a 8.25 inside so that we can cut inside uh, we can tie in the iridium coil of 8.25 so we use the die of 8.25 this one to to put the external threads of our, our iridium coil so we tied it inside and we removed the excessive one this remaining one so after that we drilled inside those a five drilling bit so that we can cut the threads of six six times 1.0 because we are recommended to drill in with 5.0 millimeter drilling bit so that was what was needed for this job so this is a engine